Once again, it's time to bring in my colleague and social media reporter, Mariama Diallo. Mariama. Thanks, Shaka. We, as I said earlier, we got tremendous feedback in our STA inbox to this week's question. It seems the African Cup of Nations reaches beyond ethnic, political, and regional divides. People unite to support their national football team. Today's semifinals pitted Mali against Nigeria in Durban, which just ended, as you guys have been discussing, with, of course, a fantastic victory uh, for Nigeria and a heart-wrenching loss for Mali. Ghana versus Burkina Faso is already underway in Nelspruit, and of course we heard it was 1-0. I wonder what the score is uh, as I speak. Uh, but now let's, let's take a look at uh, the question of this week. Which team do you think is likely to win the 2013 Africa Cup of Nations tournament and why? Send an email to africatv at voanews.com or post your comment on our Facebook page. Keyword Straight Talk Africa. Well, we've received hundreds and hundreds of responses from our audience, and here are just a few that we would like to share with you. We begin with a comment from Asare Emmanuel in Ghana. He writes, I believe the black stars of Ghana are going to win because they are disciplined, cool, calm, and collected. I think my colleague Peter Clody would like this one. And also from Ghana, um, Harrison Otuo Achampong says, I fancy Ghana to win the final match because Ghana is the favorite, is the only team to have won the Africa Cup of Nations four times. So Ghana all the way. Uh, Kinalwa Peterson from Kiambogo University in Kampala says it's going to be Burkina Faso. Yes, West Af I mean Francophone Africa because it's a changed team with a variety of new players who are committed and dedicated to beat any opponent. Another excited uh, fan, uh, Pacific Derek, his name is, said, I'm going with Burkina Faso because they play like winners. Shaka will know a little more about Burkina Faso's fate in a few hours, in a few minutes maybe. Uh, I'll have some more comments in a moment, but the Shaka are definitely hyped. Thank you very much, uh, Mariama. The last time I checked, of course, Ghana was still 1-0 uh, back in Faso. Mm -hmm. Well, you just heard, uh, especially, it looks like uh, Mariama and uh, her colleagues have been biased in the favor of the Republic of Ghana. <laughs> it's not like uh, the Ghanaians are the only ones who can write. Come on, man. No. Are they no. the only ones who are disciplined, really? I, I don't think so. Are they the so. only ones that uh, <laughs> have won it four times? Cameroon has won it four times. Yeah. In fact, I have news for that gentleman in Accra, Egypt. The fellows have won it seven, seven times. times. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But it, Shaka, if you if you look at the game now, um, the standard of play seem to have been uh, raised a top notch uh, because these teams are more more disciplined. They they stick to strictly to the dictates of the coach. And that is why from the very beginning you could see draws and draws and draws all the way. They were not taking chances because when you take chances early on, you start a chance of being eliminated. You know, so they played to draws and draws and then they had to open up till this time. And I think that is one problem that had uh, that affected the Nigerians from the beginning. When they were allowed to play their free flowing game, you know, they mesmerized everybody. Mm -hmm. What about you, uh, Sani? I, uh, I give credit to Nigeria. They've, uh, they've really surprised me in this tournament. Uh, my pre-tournament pick was Ivory Coast. And, uh, you know, word about Zambia, the big mm -hmm. disappointment. I, I thought <laughs> that Chipola Polo would do much better in this tournament. And they, uh, they were very quiet. The defending <laughs> champions indeed. Uh, take it away, Maria. <laughs> well, we have more feedback. Uh, this time, Delisa Lisa from Sam Jalos High School in Swaziland says, I think it's Nigeria uh, because they play African soccer. They show so much skill with a, with a, with a touch of European style. I think I'm going to want to hear uh, something about uh, that, um, Sunny later. What do you think about that? And uh, Rosemary Oge Nadogu from the University of Benin writes, Nigeria, because we believe we can. 
of course, Mali had many fans uh, as well who were rooting for them, like uh, Makusolwe Tleki, who said, I am a South African, but due to turmoil in Mali, I prayed for Mali to lift it just for the sake of peace. And finally, Musenga Sanwa, a youth facilitator at the UNICEF uh, office in Zambia, was cheering for Mali because they have been doing so well, she says. Unfortunately, there's only one winner, and Mali lost today. Shaka, rooting for your favorite team can often be heartbreaking. You know, I am in fact, I happen to be one of those who <laughs> lost today. <laughs> of course, there's a saying, Sani, that uh, success has many fathers, eh? I'm, but I'm, failure is an orphan. Yes. I and, uh, am willing to continue <laughs> I'm wearing a South African jersey, Shaka, <laughs> and uh, South Africa uh, bowed out <laughs> a while back. Uh, much, probably much to the uh, chagrin of the organizers, because I know they wanted the the home team, Bafana Bafana, to do well to boost attendance mm -hmm. at this tournament. But uh, getting back to uh, some of the, uh, the European style played by the Super Eagles that Mariama brought up, uh, I go back to Shegun commenting on how Keshi has, has done a, a wonderful job of meshing mm -hmm. these local players on the Super Eagles with uh, guys like Mikel, who you know plays for Chelsea and, and uh, one of the local players, uh, Emba, scored a goal for uh, Nigeria in the tournament, and mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, very interesting team, and uh, they might be peaking at, at just the right time. Well, Shaka, most people tend to forget that um, apart from winning the cup, um, Super Eagles coach Keshi has been around for a while. He was the coach who took Togo to their first and only World Cup. So he basically, really... He has, knows the game. He knows the game. He knows, <laughs> he knows how to play it. And Absolutely. He Absolutely. knows how to coach it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mariama, for bringing us this week's audience of a reaction. I think for the Nigeria, with uh, Shaka and I have nicknamed them the Super Duke, the Super <laughs> Duper Eagles. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the feedback we have for this week. We appreciate the hundreds of responses that we are receiving. Keep them coming. And by the way, we want to thank you all of you who heard our call and helped us reach our 30,000 fans. You guys absolutely, positively just rock.